before. I don't know what this couch sounds like. Does it sound like I'm farting every time I move around? Because I swear I'm not. Okay. Now, I am, though. (laughs) (laughs) You can fart as much as you want. I'm high. How are you? Yes, I am. All right. Last job before the industry. Welcome back, one and all. Thank you for listening. If you're new here, this is the Totally Wholesome, Not Dirty podcast, and I'm your host, Molly Stewart. We define wholesome a little differently here, and my guests span everywhere from the adult industry to the vanilla side of humanity. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. Word of mouth is what helps this podcast grow. So share with a friend, leave a comment, download an episode, or anything you can to help with the algorithm. I release episodes every Monday. And if you're subscribed, you'll never miss an episode. You don't want to miss out on all the crazy conversations that evolve here. Um, But that's enough from me, and let's get to today's guest. Uh, (laughs) Not dirty, totally wholesome. Totally wholesome. And on that note, (laughs) welcome back to the Totally Wholesome, Not Dirty podcast. I am your host, Phil Collins. No, just kidding. It is Molly Stewart. I know I did that before. And today's returning guest is, once again... Laura! Sorry. Howdy. Howdy. Hi, Hi. hello, howdy. <laughs> how how are you doing? Today? Hi, how are you? Yes, I am. What? I'm <laughs> yeah. not yet though, so we should get into that. We're going to, yeah. So that's I'm, what we're here for. I'm having Laura back again because I want to steal up all of her time before I leave for Australia. So Man. we're back again. We're gonna be reading. Don't leave. I'm sorry. Don't leave. I'll be back. I promise. That's fine. You Hurry um, up and come back. Okay. Um, so what I thought we could do today is I did a little Q&A on Instagram um, without answering anything. So I haven't really looked at them. I just screenshotted everything before it could expire that everybody had to say or ask. So we're going to kind of like comb through the insanity of my social media and use that as today's prompt. And then I know that there are also a few voicemails that we'll be listening to. Um, and if anything sticks out, then we'll... You'll be hearing yourself on the show. Oh my God, that's exciting. Go ahead. Uh, you you want to light this up and I'll try to see what we can do with people. So um, I'd love to do that. We're going to start off. We're going to just start from the... Oh my God, there's so many. Flipping through. All right. I'm really excited to see these. Okay. I'm going to ask you this. What has been your most painful injury? <laughs> Well, I've only ever, like, fractured my ankle before, mm-hmm. so that was pretty painful. Yeah. Because, you know, you can't how long? How long did that take for you to, like... It was... Well, I got to tell you the story. Yes. Okay. Because it's really embarrassing. All right. We need to hear the story. Yes. You want to light up first, and I'll just... All right. I'm going to... While she does this, we're just going to be talking about the fact that um, you guys need to send more submissions to anchor.fm slash TWND and send your email submissions to TWNDpodcast at gmail.com. Your voice messages will be left on anchor.fm slash TWND. There's a little button that says plus message. And if you click that, and then you can send the message. And Laura is done smoking now, so she's going to tell us all about how she fractured her ankle that one time and then could never walk again. And then suddenly she prayed to the good Lord up in the sky and he gave her back the motion in her legs thank god here's laura <laughs> so you remember the game duck duck goose when you're little well yes i do <laughs> this was a day on recess you know when you're like all... any other day yeah you know you're out there with your friends out in the field and you're playing duck duck goose only you're in the fifth grade wait you were in a field yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know, like where the track is, and, oh, you know, on okay. recess. I and, like, was just a bunch of grass. In, like, like a random field full of corn stalks. That was just where I grew. Up. I mean, it could have been. Sure, let's let's change okay. it. That would be cooler. Anyway, right, so, so we're, we're out in a corn there field. on fuck <laughs> recess. Mind you, I'm way too old to be playing duck duck goose. You know, that's that shit's like you know when you're young, like I still first play grade. That. <laughs> well, shit. Why don't you ever invite me? Thanks. We should because you let's know just play duck duck do duck duck deuce. <laughs> Okay, I'm so sorry. Continue. (laughs) But yeah, so like, you know, we're playing Duck Duck Goose and we're running. I'm like the, I'm the, what? The duck? I'm the one going around duck. Oh no, I'm the. You're the goose. I'm the goose? Wait, What am I? I'm the person that say duck, duck, duck. Okay. Mm. What are the, like, 
that is a really good that's a really good question because whatever when you're the one going around the circle you're not sitting in the circle getting your head tapped you're neither a duck nor a goose but you're, you're neither because so what are you are you the hunter like what I'm are a rapist you? <laughs> sorry <laughs> So I was, I'm oh, sorry, can I take a sidebar for one second? Because this might sound super bad. Oh my God, I'm a rapist. We start laughing. People are like, like, you shouldn't talk about your trauma. It's not very polite. That is literally how I deal with trauma. And I was by a rapist. So don't worry about it and calm down. Now, Therapist. We don't know what she was. She was neither a duck nor a goose but she was choosing who was which and then and then so i'm you know i pick the goose and i start running you know and the the goose is chasing me and i fall into a ditch or a hole there's a hole a divot in the ground my ankle rolls i have to be um wheelchaired off by the custodian of the school oh you know that was really God. glamorous that sounds super glamorous. yeah and it's funny because like a lot of my friends were thought i was like just joking like because i was rolling on the ground like going ah ah ah, Where ah. it was like the peter the, griffin thing like yes ah, ah. <laughs> same 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 so it was that and i yeah they were like she's laughing right and i'm like no i'm f***ing her You're like no i'm dying actually there's a difference <laughs> between the two yeah so that was the most painful experience Fuck. i've had and the only uh fracture slash Anything close to breaking something yeah. ever. What a- um, <laughs> fuck. My most painful injury was probably um, <coughs> when I broke the only bone I've ever broken, which is <coughs> my skull. It's the only bone I've ever fractured what? is my skull. I've never told you about this? Okay. Um, what? <sighs> Story time with Molly and Laura. All right, so I don't know what that, this is. Are you like? Yeah, we can put is it, it out. Just, is this just me? Like, it's it's infused. Thank you, Kavi Cone, Kava Cone. The, okay, <laughs> so a sidebar. Also, one of my episodes with Ori Young, we actually were smoking a Kava Cone, and it took me a long time to get past the mm. weirdness I felt during that episode to even release it. So this is Nutella tiramisu from Madhouse, right? Yes, Madhouse in Las Vegas. Highly recommend. Mm. Delicious. Yeah. Um, I had to share that. Wait, what was happening? Oh, I was injured. So I broke my skull. Well, I fractured it. It didn't like fully break it. I guess they thought I might have a brain bleed, but I didn't, I guess. I think I might have been wrong. I don't think it's totally okay up here. But um, how did you fall? So, <laughs> fuck, this is so <laughs> fucked up. All right. So I think I've told you before that I'm always like that very like... <laughs> stickler like i thought weed would kill me i was like no alcohol no nothing like i'm never gonna do it and now i'm just like a depraved human being but um, very by the rules with everything even with things like helmets like that's not <laughs> enforced by law to wear a bicycle helmet it's not but i'm like derp 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 i'm gonna wear my big ass <laughs> bright ass helmet like everywhere i go wait they weren't they weren't uh legal or they weren't it wasn't it's, it's, illegal no, it's to not, not. It's not on a bicycle, like on a motorcycle, but a bicycle. Like I think they made ride. us when we were young. That my was like a my parents always told me to, but it wasn't like a thing. You know what I mean? And nobody else that I saw wore helmets. But so damn, I so. grew up in the wrong town. <laughs> well, I was like very conservative <laughs> Michigan, f-ing, like, but it's also kind of like we were so unparented. Like, they were like I was in the woods all the time like a feral animal like i would go on my rollerblades or my bike and just go into the woods and i don't even anyway so <laughs> but anyway this was like high school time right and so i was like there was the church group <clears throat> like the youth group thing going out on a bike trip <clears throat> and i was so excited because i could ride my bike with no hands i can ride my bike with no handlebars no handlebars ah. and i could and i was like legit and because i would do like i don't even know when i think about this i just had this thought enter my brain of like riding my bike to the library with no hands reading a book like you look up every now and then and you just go like i would do that shit all the time with a helmet of course but <laughs> i didn't want to be so cute i was already like <clears throat> 
picked on and bullied by the church girls who are my age and shit like that. Bitches. So <coughs> there was a kid I had a crush on and I was I was like, you know what? I am not going to be the only kid here wearing a helmet. Like, I'm not going to do it. It's not okay. So I told my mom I would, but I didn't do it. And I just like had, this is the most fucked up thing too, is I just had the helmet on the handlebars of my bike. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm just carrying it around. I could have been wearing it. And I'm going no hands. I'm f- going off because I'm just like, maybe my prowess with the bicycle will make this young man fall madly in love with me. It didn't work, obviously. <laughs> and a stick. Things were going fine until this motherfucking stick. It wasn't even a big stick. Like, my friend, <laughs> this girl told me about it after. It's not a big stick. But a way it, like, kicked up and then it got, like, lodged into something with the wheel that made the, the, the bike just lock. So I have no hands, no helmet, and I flip over the handlebars and land on my skull. <sighs> I, I remember the initial impact and then, like, nothing else until I was at the hospital. But apparently, like, I had a seizure <laughs> on the ground. Like, this girl oh was, like, my holding God. my – Like, basically had my head in her lap to, like, try to help. And then I had to go – Yeah, I was in the ICU and shit like that. And – the only, thing I, the only thing I remember, like, about the hospital was, like, weird visions because I was on so many painkillers, like, drugs, I guess. <coughs> I remember, <clears throat> like, waking up in, um, fuck, I'm so parched, I'm sorry. I remember. Fuck, I'm just, like, right now, like, what? Mm. This is crazy. I remember, like, coming to <clears throat> in the ER, like, when they're examining me, you know? And, but I don't remember like going in for whatever scans they had to do, but I remember it when he tells me that like, I have, they're concerned that I have like a hole in my skull or like the the fracture was big enough that my brain could bleed out of it. And in my head, I was like, so I go, is my brain going to come out my head? Will it just be on the ground? And that's like the only thing I remember. And then I remember seeing, like, weird shit in the room at night. Like, there was nothing there. Obviously, oh, I was hallucinating. Fuck. But I remember hallucinating weird shit and, like, my mom telling me about stuff. And Whoa. How old were you? Um, Fuck. I don't even remember. It was in my, like, early teens. I think, like, mid-teens, maybe 15-ish. It's all a blur? <clears throat> it's all a blur. Damn. Honestly, a lot of things about my childhood are a blur, except for, like, really stupid things like this like for instance the <laughs> this fact is huge they came to visit me in the hospital when i was out of the icu the girl who held my head and then this guy and i was on painkillers and i hadn't eaten anything and i proceeded to once i saw them like sit up and start throwing up now throwing up is one of the worst things like i was traumatized of vomit before this ever even occurred to me like I've always just been like I can't do it so in my drugged up in my drugged up brain I'm like you know what I can just put it back in and if I put it back in it can't come out because it's in so I am actively vomiting and then putting the vomit in front of this person (laughs) what the fuck what to die like thinking about it even now i want to die again <laughs> like, i want to die too you want to die for me yes Let's die together. sympathy death oh, oh my god so damn yeah, that was probably my most anyway that's some fucked up shit that so, she wins <clears throat> she wins <laughs> my life is really cool and stuff like if you're boring just say so fuck Oh and you're not boring. I'm oh talking to the generic them now. I'm going to try this reed leaf. What do we do next? I don't even know. It's so funny. I, I had Jada over to do an episode. And I talked about this podcast. I was like, I don't even know what that was. I was like, I laughed a lot. So I think it was fun. But I, I can't wait like to us. see it because I'm like, I don't even know. I feel like sometimes with this podcast, I'm like, what am I doing here? But then I remember that people listen. Oh, and that makes me happy. Thank you, guys. Thanks right. for listening. <laughs> Can you do an arm wrestling challenge? No. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. We've done this All right. before. So if you are only an audio listener, um, you would have to watch us on YouTube. So you can go to youtube.com slash Molly Stewart chats and make sure that you 
subscribe, like, and leave a comment for the algorithm. And I'm going to arm wrestle Laura real quick. So, um, you have like right. a book with a dryer? I have, yeah, hang on. Let's do like a book. <clears throat> <clears throat> I know I'm not, but like I feel, you know, like when you just fucking feel squishy and bloated and shit because you're a woman. Yeah, that's every day. <laughs> that's every single day. All right. We're gonna Here we go. Down. Everybody Ooh. watch Molly lose. Watch me get my ass kicked. <laughs> no way. Come on. You can do it. Is a hand behind your back, yo. Oh, yeah. Don't cheat. Okay. All right, so. Three. Two. Two. One. <laughs> you know she's giving it all she's got. <laughs> she's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Girl. It, it was so funny. We <laughs> went the high five. We went so much with <laughs> We went so much longer it's when we did when we did the her bicep shoot. We arm wrestled for so long. Like I had to cut this down because obviously this is mostly an auditory thing because you gentlemen enjoy my voice. Is that a dildo? And if there's any ladies out there, I know you've been following me on TikTok. Apparently, I've been coming up on gay TikTok, and I'm like, that's really what? cool. That's a thing. Yeah, like Don't. like lesbian TikTok. Apparently, I'm trending. Fuck yeah. W- with girls, and that's really cool because like I love. I love the, the 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 men's out there, but like it's really cool, especially as a predominantly lesbian performer, to be appreciated by ladies too. So if you're listening and you have the lady bits and stuff, and you're a lady, <laughs> or you feel like a lady, or you want to be a lady, or you you just are a lady, I don't fucking know. I'm trying to include everybody here. I appreciate you. Tell them who what made, am I doing? Tell them I who made this. <gasps> the tiny dick. <sighs> They were made by penises made by lesbians at Madhouse. Dude, they're so cute. I had <laughs> to get them. Cute. I'm gonna try it. I should move these balls, balls or tip. Mm. Balls. Balls or tip. Um, you I should try? start with the balls, like always. <laughs> Got to warm them up. <laughs> All right. So, um, mm. what is your bicep size? I don't know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, what happened that you decided to make a podcast? I'm very curious about the reason. Because I'm the most interesting person I know, and I have a lot to say. No, actually. Um, <clears throat> I've talked about this before a bit, but I started the podcast uh, <clears throat> as a joke. I kind of just... <laughs> so I do a lot of stuff on my subscription sites that's kind of like not necessarily what people know me from like I do cooking show I have workout club like I just do and I just do goofy stuff and people like it so um, funny as hell well, thank you. funny as I hell. had a friend over for like a whole cam content session stuff and uh I was like well why don't we just do one of these like just for the fan site so that they have like some extra cool content to see and they can learn something about her and then maybe they want to subscribe to her page or just get to know her or whatever and that's cool because I always like to be able to help out my friends with like also these people are super cool spreading the love yeah spread the love <clears throat> and um i don't know like people just really enjoyed it and so there were a couple people that i was interested in getting to know so i was kind of like here's an easy way to do this that i'm kind of like i can i, I started by kind of asking fans like what questions they might have about upcoming guests and stuff like that um but then it turned less into that and just kind of me being like wow people are so interesting to talk to and it helped me be able to talk to other people better I think like especially in person versus online which is what I'm used to so so yeah that was why and now people enjoy it and I enjoy doing it because I feel like the more you get to know about people the better connections that you can have with them and I think that people are like so much more multifaceted than you can typically ever understand until you actually sit down and have a conversation with someone for at least an hour where you can only hear each other and you only have each other to like go off of. And it's not, it's no longer like what they are on social media where we know most people from. It's like who they are as a person. And that's so much more rewarding. Um, Hells yeah. (laughs) If you don't know, now you know. Bitch. Picture this. Your shirt is off, the sun is shining, and you're recreating the volleyball scene from Top Gun. 
okay, maybe not, but summer is coming and you want to be coming too. If you want to be as smooth down there as Maverick is in the air, check out what my friends at Manscaped have to offer. Manscaped is here to make sure your beach balls are fresh and ready. In summer, you want to kill some cold beers and barbecue, not kill the vibe with stray pubes coming out of your swim trunks. That's why Manscaped has the Performance Package 4.0 to keep the party in your pants looking and smelling fresh all summer long. Dive headfirst into summer by joining the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped uh, and get ready for Hawkeye Summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with my code TWND. You've heard me talk about all Manscaped has to offer time and time again, and that's because I love and actually use their products. I keep my man endlessly equipped with the best tools for his jewels, and I also use the Weed Whacker nose and ear trimmer for my own pesky nostrils. But the performance package also includes Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Crop Reserver ball deodorant, Crop Reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold all your goodies. From the shower to the lake, the Lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof and ready to tackle any of your body's overgrown bushes. Between the travel lock switch, the LED spotlight, and ceramic advanced skin safe technology blade, the Lawnmower 4.0 is the most advanced trimmer I know of. Once the weeds are cleared, check out Manscaped's liquid formulations. Before you head outside and into the heat, use the crop preserver to keep your boys cool and fresh. If you want to step up your grooming game further, take a look at Manscaped's Shears 2.0, a package that has everything you need to look pristine. Nail cutters, tweezers, and grooming scissors. While their performance package will get your balls ready to impress, make sure you cover the rest with the Shears 2.0 so you're ready to perform from head to toe. Get 20% off and free shipping with my code TWND at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with my code TWND at manscaped.com. This is the summer to turn your package into the full package with Manscaped. <laughs> so these are just pure chocolate. You're right. It's just chocolate. It's just chocolate, yeah. I thought it was peanut I thought butter. I wanted cup. that there was a cookie. <clears throat> I thought that was a penis cookie. <laughs> but and they're still really like good. They're, they're super delicious, good. It's, but it's a lot of chocolate. I do like, I would, I'll just make my own penis cookies. Oh, do you remember the ones I made that Where were like the... super skin realistic? Because I did that like color matching with the food color. Yes, in. creepy but cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the perfect match. <sighs> oh my God. This, did you this, ever... is, this is something that I think about when I'm high. Now you say what you were going to say. Did you cookie. find your penis... Um... What do you call it? Cookie cutter? I did. And then I made the <laughs> penis cookies, but then I lost it again. I've been looking for it because I was like, oh, I could make. But then I don't know. I don't... We need to make pen- penis edibles. <sighs> so this is like some weird type of shit that like I think about when I'm stoned. Is it worse to have an oversized head or an undersized head? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, I don't know. That's amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> I would okay all right so I think looking at my dog Julia (laughs) yeah who has a very undersized head for her fat fucking body I love her so much um I would definitely have an oversized head because then you're just like oh what because I'm a brat style like how oversized do you know what I mean like (laughs) like like an egg like is it a pinhead or is it like (laughs) A balloon, like yeah. Is there a we need to see like exactly what you mean. Yeah, like okay, that so, could be a make or break. Because I think <clears throat> okay, so you know, I don't know. I've seen these videos where it's like girls will like minimally Photoshop photos of their boyfriend to like make like what? one arm a little bigger or like something like that. And so I think about that term. Oh like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Is it just like <clears throat> a an abnormally but not like circus show worthy type of head or is it like what or is it like a beach ball do you know what i mean like like what are we working with here and then if I'm it's thinking small big. if it's a big head and, and if i think it's, it's small, small if it's a small head. if it's small then i think about like the <laughs> character from men in black like when he blows his head off and then it grows back really tiny i think and it has to like slowly a, grow i think of beetlejuice oh yes. <laughs> the little guy smoking. yes Shrunken head. Oh, fucking Beetlejuice. Shit. All right. So I think, I think I would have an oversized head over an undersized head. What do you think? Little head. You would have a little head. <laughs> I'll have a really big head. And you go, David. Hey, Yo, come here. Come, come on. Out. Maybe he can. Maybe he can Make give me a big head. <laughs> you 
probably can't even do that. We're just like sitting here waiting for it to see if it, cool happens, if it happens. But we're you not going to be able to find out later. Maybe. <laughs> just, a little tiny <laughs> Oh, motherfucker. Okay. They came to the guy from Beetlejuice. Go. Go. <laughs> right. So, at Aston Papa John on Instagram says, my favorite train conductor is Ronald Johnson. His 28 train a day average is fucking crazy. Wow. 28 trains that's a, a day? What does he do with them? Just that's where he, he just tells them where to go or he is on the train. What does the conductor do? He's the one I haven't been on a train. It, right? He's the one He's driving. He's the one running it. So he drives 28 trains a day. That's crazy. Where does he go? What the fuck? And like how long are these train rides? Because there's only 24 hours in a day. A- you know what I mean? Like are these like little tiny short? They must short- be short. I'm like confused. five minute ones. I'm too confused by this. <laughs> I don't even want to think about this. That makes me it's sad. Pretty interesting though. Like, what if you, you're just on a train all the time? That's insane. No, I do don't you sleep, do bro? <laughs> all right. Mm. That's hard work. <laughs> it's adorable to me when people. <clears throat> yeah, should I turn when people here? say something and they're like, "This is this is funny." This is going to make me laugh. I'm just like, no. All right. Um, I'm going to turn your back Oh, now. thank you, boo-boo. I totally forgot about that. You, what would I, see, what am I going to do without you? All right. I just felt like I heard, like, what's the difference, like what's the difference between jelly and jam? Isn't, um, jam, like, I don't know. Jam always felt like a different texture. Like, it was thinner. <laughs> I have no idea. I feel like jelly's got more like fruit in it and stuff. I feel like jam is like thicker than jelly. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. I thought Maybe. jelly was more. I, hate I don't this. know. I hate this question. All right. This question's like, I don't know, dude. Sorry. <laughs> They're different. Oh my god, people. Are these good? No. Uh oh. I haven't looked at them until now and I really should have. She's um, all damn. Just sift through it, dude. Sift through it. Like why do people say like why do people okay? Why are you like when I ask like for questions if you and you're like, I've got nothing, but keep killing it. Leave it on a YouTube episode. Le- leave a, like, how is this help? I, I just cannot even. <laughs> Thank you for nothing, also. All right. Motherfucker. <laughs> um, bum, bum. What was your last job before you got into the fun industry? That's actually one of my questions for you. What was, like, have you always done makeup or how, like what other jobs have you had? Cause I just found out that you did fucking violin. Oh yeah. <laughs> and bass. And it's still blowing my mind. Like I talked to Jada about it. What? And then she's like, I do violin too. And I'm like, what the Whoa. fuck is happening? <laughs> we need to play. What y'all. is going on? So Jada, let's play. <laughs> let's go jam out together. Oh yeah. Let's just like jam. Like it's sure. blowing my mind. So what other jobs did you have? Before this, I was a barista. You did baristaing. Yeah, I was like making your coffee and shit, you know? That's awesome. Lattes and whatever. I even actually learned how to do latte art. So I went to a competition. (laughs) And it was funny because, like, I literally sucked. Please stop. I sucked. I sucked. (laughs) I love you more and more every time that you're in my house. What is happening? I'm blushing. I love coffee. Now you don't drink coffee. And you're like, but also. I don't know if you know this about me, but not only was I a trained violinist, I also created coffee art. I was in competitions creating the very thing that fuels your day, that makes or breaks your mood. I provide that. Like, what are you doing? Fuck you. (laughs) I love it. No, I was. I Okay. The reason why I went to a competition... Is because the coffee shop I was working for at the time was like, yo, there's this competition in L.A. We want you to go <laughs> and so represent cute. the company. And I was like, right on. You know, I'll do it. And so I go, right? And mind you, I do the basic shit. Like the leaf, 
the rosetta yeah and i could do a heart and that was like pretty much the extent yeah you know and then um i get there and you're and seeing this, shit like yeah i'm seeing like the dopest shit like these people are like doing like I've elephants seen, like, dragon before and i was like well, what the fuck like it <laughs> like had the spelling out thing. names and shit no i'm kidding but like <laughs> people are crazy people were doing some the most they were doing yeah. the most and I was like, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? And then that I had- explains like every time I go to her house to do makeup, right? She's like, you want a coffee? And I always think, oh, we'll order a coffee. But she Indeed. makes me a coffee and it's always bomb. And she's always like, is it okay? Is it-? Like that makes no, so much sense. No, it's in me. Like it's it's part of me. I am coffee. You're like everything I need. I am coffee. You Hi, are coffee. Hi, I am coffee. Yes, I will take you home with me. <laughs> ling, ling. Oh my God. <clears throat> give me my fuck. coffee <laughs> give it to me this is so amazing oh okay so my uh i last... still drink tea though and i'm you do, hella and you're not tea. drinking coffee i have yeah. tea too ooh, fuck. Ooh, chai tea yeah chai yo, tea yes oh, oh. she brought that and it's amazing because i really should not have any more coffee today um <laughs> never say my, never my job before i don't know what this couch sounds like does it sound like i'm farting every time i move around because mm-hmm. i swear i'm not okay now I am though. <laughs> you can fire as much as you I'm want. Hi, here. how are you? Yes, I am. All right, last job before the industry. Um, I'm trying to think because it was like, I guess I would have to say when I started stripping the still industry too. I worked at like Victoria's Secret, and it made me want to kill myself every day. Damn, I, I always it. wanted to work there. I was like, damn, that, that must be the coolest job. Probably, they probably get free lingerie and shit. I was just talking about this. <laughs> you get free lingerie, right? Like, it, it might not be this way anymore. And it might not be every store. But particularly the store that I worked at, it, it was this way. So it was like, back then I didn't have fake tatas. Like, they were just very small. And, <laughs> you know... <laughs> It was a time. And I should have had no business working at a bra store, but, like, this is the only place that would hire me. You know, I thought my other job history was enough, but it wasn't. Not they in sell California. all the kinds of shit. And uh, so it was fine, but they had this whole thing where it's like, you know, whenever you go in there and they're like, have you been sized lately? You're supposed to measure people slightly off, like, slightly inaccurately from what they say that their cup size is, because then they could potentially buy a whole new wardrobe of bras basically damn yeah that's so i thought that shisty. was like hmm. <laughs> and then you do get the free stuff but the free stuff is like whatever their new product is that they're pushing of course and so um they had like whatever that like double like make your whatever to a double d or like their push-up bombshell whatever shit oh, yeah it makes you like double the size or double yeah the- and i put it on and like honestly i felt absolutely ridiculous and it wasn't <laughs> like they, they just give it to you they like, pick your color or, like pick the most basic shit like then like <laughs> like i said color. this is before i started the industry so it's like i was never comfortable with my body even for long into getting into the industry so me wearing a push-up bra knowing what my boobs actually look like i was like what am i doing like i don't want to wear this <laughs> and um so i remember like i didn't wear it in and i got like the you're supposed to be wearing this talk like, like it's a uniform <laughs> yeah basically Whoa. but it's like well we can't require you to wear it but it doesn't really show like the team spirit if like you're not you know being able to talk about and promote the product and like that kind of stuff and i was like <laughs> why couldn't you wear any bra you want that's really yeah. weird yeah so but it was Damn. like the, one of those like well it's not technically against the rules but it, it felt like um you know like office space yeah it's like it's not enough flare like yeah. if you only have the base amount of flare it's you just don't care about what you're doing i'm like it's- you're not <laughs> even paying me enough or giving me enough hours to pay for the gas to get to this job, essentially. No way. And you're worried, like, you know, it's just... <clears throat> Anyone that works in retail, I applaud you. You're very special. Sorry that they treat you like shit, because it's really shit, and I hated it. <laughs> it was, yeah. like, awful. I mean, I did makeup in retail, too, <clears throat> but, like, yeah. my last, but last... But that's totally... Before makeup, it was cocked. That's yeah. different, too. It's not like that's they're crazy. being like, hey... 
you small titted animal. Fucking push those <laughs> puppies up. We got bras to sell. It's like, what the fuck? Like, we're not selling them to dudes. Like, there's not dudes coming in being like, knowing what the size their woman's bra is. Like, they don't understand sizing of bras. Like, yeah. it's like, I've never looked at a girl with her boobs, like, pushed all the way up and thought, damn, that's what I need. I'm going to buy that right now. Like, especially if they're clearly A cups pushed up to pretend <laughs> that they're big girl boobies. They weren't big girl boobies. <laughs> It wasn't like even it wasn't even plausible that those were my boobs. Like there wasn't even like nothing to jiggle when I walked. It was just like the bra. <laughs> it's like I put a foam titty over my boob. <laughs> the only thing that gave me cleavage was the skin that pushed together. <laughs> Damn. Also makes me feel sexy. All right, anyway. Here we go. <laughs> Motherfucker. Let's try this other oh, one. Oh shit, we Lavender, should. Lavender chia. Mm. Uh, I'm high. I've got the munchies. Fuck yeah. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <clears throat> Are you a fan of psychedelics? Mescaline yes. is my favorite. All the good of acid and shrooms. I do not do psychedelics, but Laura does. I'm not. Yes, please. I'm too afraid of my own brain. So. Mm -hmm. What? My sure. <clears throat> what is it that you like most about it? Like, what's the difference? All right. So here's the thing, because you do both. So what's the difference between, like, that and weed? And which do you prefer? Well, it, it's long, longer lasting, mm -hmm. the psychedelic mm -hmm. versus the weed. The weed, like, I could definitely still function day-to-day -day shit. While smoking weed, like I could, you know, pretty much mm -hmm. do everything I normally do sober, but just like a little bit more chill, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it actually takes a lot of anxiety away from me too. Yeah. With psychedelics, that's something I'm going to do while I'm chilling at home or in a space that I feel safe. Yeah. Total difference. Like I'll smoke weed anywhere, you yeah. know, I'll vape in the car. Yeah, but psychedelic is like intense. I'm not gonna. And yeah. Like... yeah, that's like when you're ready to like zone out and like just kind of chill. And like, I, my favorite thing to do is like watch like some comedy or like something like, you know, beautiful, like artsy, yeah. you know, like my <laughs> just like kind of zen out, listen to some good music. My like brain has no space for chill. It's like I'll yeah. watch. <clears throat> I'm having a hard time even shows holding my attention, like unless it's really good. And even then, it's like. I'm just getting like burned out of stuff mm -hmm. and like I don't know maybe it's just like my brain just being too racy but it's like I always feel like I have stuff to do or that I should be doing no I hear I have you a hard there's time like just making the the space to like chill out yeah. which I do a little bit but like I'm really good at that well I'll give myself that like I'm really good at I zoning know. out I chill but with I you know. and it, I feel so much more relaxed like you are a relaxing person <laughs> <laughs> but I understand what you're saying because like I know people that are go 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 also and like very busy and like you're very busy all the time you know like I'm saying like <clears throat> I understand there's a difference of like and you're like, oh, shit, I should have been doing this, this, and this, you yeah. know? But, like, that's why I'm saying, like, psychedelics, like, I'm not going to be able to do them every day. Yeah. Even yeah, though, like, you sure. could microdose, and I'm totally about that, too. But I'm still, like, kind of, like, new to, like, the whole introducing that to, like, my daily life. Yeah. It's like, what if sure. I have to go work? Yeah, exactly. I don't exactly. know if, like, I'm going to be able to, like, perform exactly yeah. the way I normally would. Or, yeah. And I don't want to, like, chance it. have been smoking weed for a long time, so you already know how you are with it. Yeah, and so I know, familiar. like, when I've had enough, I know when I can keep going. Makes There's sense. a difference. So, yeah, psychedelics is more chill. So, no psychedelics for me because I'm insane. Um, stupid. <laughs> I am stupid, yes. I put mushrooms you. in your coffee. Are they kicking in yet? I just had a moment because I'm stoned and I was like, wait a minute, I've drank so much of that. And then I was like, what are you talking about? I didn't give you mushrooms. What I ordered it with a shot of mushroom. <laughs> the ones that make you trip. Gonna like Ari Shafir me. <laughs> Seriously. Um, Come on, let's get some good questions. Um, oh, ooh, here's one. Um, what's the weirdest thing you've ever bought? I don't know. Hold on. Let me think. Let's think about this. Dude, dude. Weirdest thing. I don't even. 
I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of. How do we define weird? I know that's what I'm trying to think. There's so like so something broad, that like something like, that other people would think is think. like stupid. I buy a lot of gnomes. Like, still, but I don't. It's I, not I, weird. It's cute. Some people think it's weird, but I like gnomes. I'm trying to think. Um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> go. You go. I bought a little uh, like a hat for my ferret. That makes it into a chicken. Aww. Yeah, so she's like a little chick, like a baby picture. chicken. You should send me. So it's kind of weird. Send me the picture and we'll put it up there for yeah, the visual I will. viewers. For sure. Weirdest thing for me, um, probably my dogs. They. <laughs> and I say that because I look Which at which one's the weirdest? Because when I think about like the things <laughs> right that I have, or you know. That I have bought. It's not really necessarily like weird things. Like none of them stick out as weird to me. But every single day I get to witness how weird my fucking dogs are. Like you've seen them do the things. They're cute. <clears throat> They're really cute, but they are weird. They make no sense. That, that's valid though. Yeah. It's like super Edward valid. will chase his tail for like an hour straight. Yeah. And then he gets dizzy. No fucks given. Falls over. And it's really funny. <laughs> like. Julia snores. She's just thick. <coughs> she's incredibly loud. She's super thick. She's so thick. And she just whines about things for no reason. Like She's really pretty, though. And I'm going to name really an pretty. eyelash after her. You are. From my eyelash company. Mm-hmm. It's gonna Coming be soon. But I don't know. I can't really think about... I don't know. I just don't think I've bought much. Nothing seems weird to me, but I'm pretty weird. So Yeah, same. Who really knows? Same. Do you like shooting guns? Yes. Yes, yes. We love that. Shooting guns is super fun. We go into yeah. the desert a lot. <laughs> that was really fun when we went out and shot the shotgun for the first time. Yeah, Jenna, Jenna Jameson. Jameson. That's her name. Because <laughs> she'll blow Don't you away. <laughs> yeah, um, I have so never fun. shot the shotgun. That was a you. And you're a badass. Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate it. I was, I was a little scared of that. Like, I've always shotguns i grew up around guns i grew up in the midwest like all of my family knows how to handle guns my She's brother a and my dad both have guns like everybody got guns it's america whatever um fuck yeah but no like the shotgun actually i was like ooh, i don't like it was power because like even just watching it and like feeling you know like it's crazy but then i'm just shooting it i was like oh fuck yeah i could get used to this <laughs> You just concoct that and yeah. people would run. And I'm really you know? used to like this motion. Yeah. So it's super. <laughs> Damn, those muscles. Thank you. Boom. Just flicks them on. Yeah. Fucking Get it. Jojo. Get it. Uh, so uh, that's a yes. So yes, love. guns are cool. Um, Just use them safely and whatever. Yes. Be um, safe. Or don't do it. Do you like to get fucked in the ass in private life? (laughs) (laughs) Who's asking? (laughs) Sneakers Unlimited, DC, on Instagram. (laughs) In private life. No, only in public public life. (laughs) Yeah, that's exactly. Yes, here. I'm a man. That's that's my answer, too. Only Only in public public life. Yes. Perfect. All right. So that takes care of Instagram because everything Check. else was. So for anyone listening who submitted something, you didn't hear it. Better Garbage. Look next time. All right. So let's, Garbage. Let's see what these voicemails are. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, I'm excited. This comes to you from Rick. Pickle Rick. Okay. Hey, so my question is. I've always been curious about what is the female perspective on men's pubes. Just like, you know, men are pretty simple. It's either none or a lot or some. But but what is a woman's perspective on that? What what is what do you like <laughs> as a woman in the in, you know, this industry? And what's your favorite color? Wait a minute. Aww, what's your favorite Wait color? a minute. That's great. Wait a minute. It's either none <laughs> or a lot or, or some. some. 
That was great. Oh my god, I want to make a t-shirt with that. <laughs> it's either a lot or Manscaped. none. Or some. <laughs> Use code TWND at manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping. That's going to be the shirt. Oh my god. It's going to be the shirt. David, please clip that because I need that shirt in my life. All right. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, Rick. Um, Amazing. My stance is kind of like, I don't like a lot. If there's some, <laughs> that's fine. If there's none, even better because, you know, friction. But it doesn't like, it doesn't like, like I'm not, I don't know. Like I just don't understand. For me, the whole big bushy thing on your nuts, right? How is it comfortable? My my thing is more like, how do you even deal with that? Much less making me deal with that. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, how do you do that? That's my big question. Because it's kind of like, it's kind of like, all right. Explain so, yourself. What? I don't know. Like, I've even never, like, I got laser, right? But even, you know, before laser, I never had like that many pubes. Like, and I let it grow in before. And it was just never like a lot. And then I see some pictures that are sent to me, and I'm just like, Whoa. wow, <laughs> and not in a good way. Like, wow, <laughs> like, I think you have more hair on your dick than on your head. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, what in the hell? And for me, it just Damn. More, is more as like, I just saw that in like, my head. Like, hey, you do you, boo. But it seems to me that, number one, if you shaved it down, even if you have a, like, a smaller dick or an average dick, even if you have a bigger dick, your dick will look so much bigger without like, you know, vines crawling halfway up the shaft. Like it makes, it doesn't make any sense to me. And then it's like, <laughs> do you live somewhere that it's cold maybe and your balls get chilly? And so you need, I don't understand what that is either. Cause it's like, what year are we living in? 2022, you have heating, I would hope. <laughs> To, like, warm your balls. And so then you don't have to deal with, like, sweating into your nuts and just creating this aroma for the next nose that happens to travel down there. And if it's not someone else's nose, certainly you must know. Like, you must know that there's, you know, smells. And it just seems like it would be so much more comfortable not having to carry around, like, grass clippings in your underwear all day. Like, I know if I ever get a couple that, like, straggle back, and if I wear, like, lace panties or something or any kind of panties, it can get, like, through the holes in the fabric, and I'm like, ah, and it, like, pulls. So it's that much of it. I just don't understand how it's comfortable. Like, you do you, but I'm not going to be like, yay. <laughs> I'll be like, well, I would like it more if you shaved. That's all. So if you have some, that's fine. But just, like, if you're going to have a big mess, I can just say... Like, you can keep a big pube stack and just, like, trim it a little. Like, just, I don't know, make it like a hedge art or something. Like, turn it into a giraffe. I don't know. Just something. That's that's my opinion. What do you think? Same answer. You same answer? Yeah. Like, okay, have you ever, ha have you ever had a situation? Okay. Have you ever had a situation, right, where a guy gets and you're about to and then there's, like, smell? Or it's like a shitload of pubes. <laughs> um, no, not the smell. Shitload of pubes, yeah. Okay, so not like me. a shitload though. Like, like what do you much? mean? What's a shitload? Like, like there's all right some, so, and then there's right, none, so, and I've seen a lot. Say this is a say my arm is a penis. Here, wait. Here's the tip. This is the tip. All right, this is where like the pube line is. My bear with me. My elbow is the balls. <sighs> No, like, I've seen, not that much. It looks like... You've seen that? It looks sometimes like a tower, like Rapunzel's <laughs> tower, right? Like the foliage is all growing up the sides of this, like... What? You know? And I'm just like, it would look better if you just like a little trim trim. So if you would like a little trim trim, go to manscaped.com and use yeah. code TWND at checkout to get Manscaped. 20% off and free shipping. Manscaped. Shave your balls. Please. They'll thank you. Yes. Keep your testies looking their besties. Anyway. <laughs> Is that my bestie in a testy? Is that my bestie? <laughs> testies. Is that my bestie in a testy? 
<laughs> Stupid. CY, 4 million men worldwide <laughs> trust Manscaped to keep their balls looking fresh. Always. All right. Standard. <clears throat> um, here's the next one. Hey, Molly. So, this is Tech from New York. Here's my question. If, um... You could get away with committing a crime and not get caught. Would you do it? And if so, then what would be your crime? So I can't wait to hear your answer. And I'll hopefully talk to you soon. Bye. Ted from New York. Tech. Tech? Mm-hmm. What's up, Tech? I just made a custom for Tech. Hello, Tech. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think. The idea of committing a crime sounds so fun. I actually, like, accidentally committed a crime when I was a kid, breaking and entering. <laughs> but nothing happened, so it was cool. Breaking and entering? I, I thought it was Nancy Drew. I wasn't. Um, <laughs> I thought it was saving someone from this creepy lady's house. She was just, she was just the neighborhood cunt, essentially. And <laughs> I was really into all those, like, you know, the mystery books, Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, like I read all of them. Wow, you're on it. your bicycle. Yeah, and I had it in my <laughs> head because there was like this weird like pulsing light upstairs that she was doing some fucked up shit up there. We heard noises and shit, but it was so it was just an aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> and she was still just a cunt, but it was fine and all worked out. <laughs> but <laughs> it's an aquarium. <laughs> I could totally see that. That's why I was saying. I was saying fuck. this on the episode with Jada. I was like, if you're a kid, if you even if you're 18, you don't know fuck about shit. I no. really, I convinced myself. And when I think back to all the different things that I convinced myself of when I was a young adult, I'm just like, Jesus Christ, what a fucking moron. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck, I forgot the question. The crime. What crime? What crime would you commit? Would you commit a crime if you could and totally get away with it? Like, never have any repercussions for it? Rob a bank? <laughs> a Brinks truck? <laughs> it would be... I just feel like... Okay, so those heist movies are so fun sometimes. Sometimes I think mm. it would be cool to rob a bank. They even rob a bank in Harry Potter. And I <laughs> loved Harry Potter. I still love Harry Potter, man. Batman, you know? Batman, all the things. Fuck yeah. It could be fun. It could be the Joker. I could do all that shit. All like, that shit. Do you, let's, okay. If we could ever commit a crime, we'll rob a bank together. Bonnie and Clyde, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, who's who's the bitches that ran their car off the cliff? Thelma and Louise, yo. Thelma and Louise. That's us. That's us. <laughs> we'll drive off into the sunset in our Tesla that we stole. Yeah. With the bank guys. Is that my Bessie and a Tessie? <laughs> That's her with the oh, handkerchief on her head. <clears throat> I don't know what to name it is what this submission is called. Maybe, oh, maybe he just really didn't know what to name it. Oh, that leaves me less excited. All right. This is from Spencer. What's up, Spencer? You seem like a really nice person. This is a friendly reminder to drink more water. Water. I'm not a nice person. <laughs> and clearly Spencer doesn't know me at all. <laughs> because the amount of water I go through in a day and the amount of times in a day that I have to run to the bathroom to pee. Same. Literally, like, though, I've seen you. I don't think I should drink more water because at that point, I think I would get the water poisoning. Or you would just always be peeing. I'm always peeing as it is. You're peeing now. I'm peeing right now. (laughs) She's just hiding it really well. (laughs) So, um, was it tomboy underwear? Yeah. Totally absorb it. Fully absorb it. I'm just peeing myself as I sit here right now. (laughs) Sweet, dude. Same. (laughs) Same. I was hoping I wasn't the only one. (laughs) Because, you know, I felt, I felt like I didn't want to have you left out. No, it's you okay. Know? Thank you. I appreciate you peeing with me. <laughs> women unite. Women supporting women. <laughs> oh, my Two God. Two girls peeing. Is this legal? <sighs> I remember, like, who was, who was I talking to? Um, someone was talking about, like, new content that they were making or something. And I was like, you know, maybe I should come up with some new stuff. And someone suggested, like water sports and i was like like sea doing like <laughs> like water skiing and like oh no like peeing i was like what 
Oh, yeah. I like totally forgot that that was a lane. And then the fact that it's called water sports. Is like, that what it's called? Like, I guess any of that like bodily fluid type stuff is called water sports. And I'm like, no, thank you. Damn. I didn't know that. I, I just do not want to do today. water sports. I remember inner tubing behind a boat. That was fun, but I don't <laughs> want to be peed on. <laughs> would you? All right. How much money would it take for you to pee on someone? For me to pee on yeah. someone? Like you pee in the like you you squat over someone and you pee in their mouth. How much? Like how much money would they pay you? Damn, I don't want to be cheap, yo. <laughs> That's kind of like it's kind of kind of out there. How mm. much? I don't know. <laughs> Everything is kind of price. Yeah. I mean fifty bucks is fifty bucks. <laughs> Bitch, no, I'm thinking <laughs> ten's ten, right? Twenty's twenty? Yeah. Fuck no. We're talking like, <laughs> we're talking figures here. But literally. Figures. All right. But think about it this way. All right. So y- you got to You got to make figures. Figures. Right? Like you have to get money out of this. But at the end of the day, who has the worst end of the deal? Regardless, you have money. Someone else just drinks your pee. They're paying you for the privilege yeah, of drinking still, your pee. Yeah, but I'm not going to be cheap. But this you'd pee. have to show them your vagina. So that's another up cost right there. Exactly. Because they would see it. What Fully. if? What if? They were blindfolded. Okay. Would that would that change the price at all? No. No. Okay. <laughs> because like if they were blindfolded, you could just like get your man to step in and he would oh, and he, fuck. And he could just pee in his mouth. And then you could turn him into Switch. a cock. And then you guys just have like income forever. And just your man just keeps that, peeing in his mouth. That's like genius. You should. <laughs> this is how you start your OnlyFans. This is how you do. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can't do water sports on OnlyFans if you guys are wondering. So what? And I'm never doing it. So what? my urine is far too valuable to be put into the hands of mere yeah, mortals. Yeah, mine's too. <laughs> it's clear, y'all, because I drink so much water. Yeah, for real. That shit's like it's premium. So premium. Every t- shit. So every time I go to talent testing, there's this like chart for whatever reason in the bathroom that like rates your level of like you're in color like if you're healthy or not or whatever and mine is always just like the healthiest <laughs> yeah because you drink hella water like i drink hella water i don't drink alcohol anymore mm-hmm. i just like i'm fine man all good in the hood but the money makes me handsome all right <laughs> um <laughs> i think that's actually all of the voice Woo! messages so those were great they were great thank actually. you they were fantastic and then <laughs> We have. Um, Is there more? Oh, that was actually something that I was wondering for you. Now, before you were at a place, right, where you don't, because we discussed, you don't need to masturbate because you have bomb ass sex. Bomb. But were you com. someone when you didn't have a person around, like masturbating? And were, have you ever been like caught masturbating? No, never been caught. But yeah, I would masturbate yeah. before. Hell yeah. Oh, I was just wondering if you had any got caught stories. That's lucky. Nothing fun. No. Well, I mean, I mean, I was, never been caught. It's not fun. <laughs> Trust me, when your mom walks yeah. out and you're humping a pillow, it's not fun. <laughs> you're just like, what are you doing? I'm working out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't understand my body. Sorry, I'm boring. <laughs> Sorry. No. You're not boring. <laughs> Maybe I should have gotten like a little more like maybe no fucks to, given maybe, and made more noises. Well, maybe we just need to smoke this. Yeah, that's always a, that's a, a yes, please. Mm. Do you have anything to ask or to or to discuss upon? In what are you exci- most excited state? about for your trip to Australia? Because you're gonna be gone for a few months. What are you looking forward to the most? I don't know why. I don't know why I gave you the lighter. I was like, here you go. I didn't think anything of it. I was like, what? Okay, cool. Thanks. It was like when you just like put random food in my mouth or when I put it in your mouth. Like, what is that? It's like, okay, it. cool. Fine. It's um, fine. I trust you. <clears throat> I'm probably going to do the Great Ocean Road. Like it's basically kind of like their version of Highway 1. So that's going to be really beautiful. Ooh, beautiful. So that goes all the way up and down like. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure we're going to spend <clears throat> going to spend some time in Sydney as well. Um that'll be fun. We might be doing some stuff for base blocks, so that'll be Sick. interesting. We yeah, love base fun. blocks. Do, just do fitness stuff. We're going to um I have a new location. 
uh, that we're going to be in that I'm going to be shooting my stuff from. I'll be doing podcasts out there, like a lot of solo stuff. So it's just it's just a really fun trip. Like I've been wanting to go back to Australia for since the last time I was there, and that was even before I was with my man. And now I'm going back with an Australian, so I'll actually get to like know what the cool things are, which would be really fun. I'm really looking forward to like watching your stories. Obviously, FaceTiming you like yeah for sure all the time. <laughs> Yeah, be like, what are you doing now? What are I'm you doing like, now? What are you looking you're at? You're gonna now? have to like silence your How's phone. How's everything going? You're gonna have to silence your phone at night because my message you get like four o'clock in the morning, like I don't forgetting care. the time difference. I won't wake up. I think like we already do do that. Like now, I'll be like messaging you at like three a.m. Mm-hmm. and I'm like, hey, I don't know, you're <laughs> up, but are you up? Like, this. <laughs> or I'll send you a meme. I'm thinking of this right now, and I have to tell you this. I did that I'll send my... you a meme on Instagram, whatever. I did that to Tina the other day because I had like, I had just been so busy. I ghosted my phone most of the day, and uh, I, f- I finally finished our cups game <laughs> that we're playing on the phone. Oh yeah, days later, you know, and, I, and like... she and she ended up winning because I, I failed. And so I wrote her this message about like, now you're going to wake up a winner, just like you always are, like blah, blah, blah. And then she, and it was like so late. It was like one o'clock in the morning. She messaged me back. Hello. I was like, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Ruined my plan. Aw. Not really. It's still the, the morning. It is. Early, the, it is technically. Very early morning. It is technically morning. So you were pretty on point, girl. You were on point. <sighs> oh my God. <clears throat> it's going to be interesting. I don't even... I don't even know what I'm going to do with myself. I'm going to have, like, so much... It's going to be crazy because, like, obviously still doing work, but it's going to be way less work because not doing shoots. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, just... You'll get to chill, too, though. I will get to chill, and it's going to be weird because remember what cool. I said about chilling earlier? Yeah, well, you're going to have to make friends. I'm going to find something to do. I'm just going to, like, decorate the house. <laughs> yeah, that won't be chilling. That'll be hard work. Uh, there you go. Be fun. Oop, there it is. Oop. There it is. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that since we have exhausted all of the questions and all of the commentary, that it is time to leave you all. So once again, please follow Laura Ware. You can find me on Instagram at Wham Glam Artistry. That is me. Also TikTok, Wham Glam also Artistry. TikTok, yes. So I'm gonna work on bringing more content to that mm-hmm. for everybody. Makeup stuff. And you know? I and I've started making her do TikToks with me. I might make her do one with me after this. <laughs> I suck, I found a but good I'm sound. trying. I'm trying. No, because you're giving it my best it. shot, dude. When I show you <laughs> the one that we did, actually got a lot of a lot of traction, girl. Hey, what's yeah, up? People like you. What's up? Glow up, girl. I like people. I like people. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I love you guys. More of a dog person, but people are all right. People are cool, yo. (laughs) Love you guys. Love you guys. Um, And you can follow. Also, I I always forget to do this little reminder. So if you are still listening, which I hope that you are, um, you you can also follow the podcast at TWND Podcast on Instagram. And that's the same on Twitter as well. Um, And if you guys think that I should start a TikTok for clips from this let me know otherwise i'll just keep doing it on my personal one you can follow me on instagram yes, at this yes. redhead is sfw same yes, on tiktok yes. as well and please be liking subscribing and leave us a rating if you like what you are hearing so that we can uh, get more sponsors and keep this shit going because it's been really fun so thank you guys for listening and i'll see you next week thank you Mwah.